I was hoping we could start with some insights into what you were thinking during your isolation. Sure, yeah. Well, I can, I mean, I can do better than that. I can, I can tell you exactly what I was thinking. I feel like I got to some, some of the more important questions. And not the answers, <laughs> but definitely things that just kept me up at night. Go on. Uh, how come Aquaman can control whales? I mean, whales are mammals. Doesn't even make sense. Let's talk about the exercise. So, 10 days. 10 nights. That's a long time for a man to be alone with himself. And what do you do when you're by yourself? Studying, of course, for my mission. Finding new ways, new techniques to relieve the tension. I felt like I was 15. Left-handed. As the first female commander of an Ares mission, I was wondering if you feel any added pressure to the already intense levels of responsibility you're facing. In terms of the mission, do you have any fears? No, I'm German. We don't feel fear. Well, it's a tough one. As a, as a doctor, you're accustomed to high-stress environments, matters of life and death on a daily basis. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm very confident that we're gonna... we're gonna kick some Martian ass. <laughs> you're a doctor of <laughs> what? The soul. <laughs> what? Give me the skinny on the crew. Like, my personal thoughts? Yeah. Watney is everybody's favorite. I mean, I understand if you're gonna say, all right, well, kids might not know a whale's a mammal, and if Aquaman needs a big fish, the kids are gonna say, why didn't he call a whale? And you're not gonna stop the show and explain, oh, well, whales are mammals, because the kid doesn't know that a whale's a mammal, so, you know. Martinez really thinks he's funny. Sometimes I have movies in my head. Let me see what's on. Good fellas. All right. Hey, what's in the trunk? What's in the trunk? Yeah. Joe Pesci was amazing. Lewis is pretty badass. So you know from my file, I graduated top of my class from the Naval Academy. Have you ever been in a submarine? You try to sleep with the creaks and the grinding. It sounds like someone is slowly and violently crushing a soda can that you're inside of. I slept like a baby from day one, so no. I don't think the added pressure of being the first woman to command a mission to Mars is going to be too intense. But thanks for the 10 days in there. It was, it was pretty illuminating. 